Hey gang, welcome back to the world famous, internationally renowned Ashland Fly Shop fishing report for the Southern Oregon, Northern California region, state of Jefferson, whatever you want to call it, for the end of April. Uh, we got some good stuff going on, let's get into it. All right, we're just gonna jump right into the Rogue River, the world famous Rogue River right in our backyard here, and uh, there's nothing going on. Not much going on at all. So it's still closed until the 23rd, so, um, so uh, but trout does not open in the upper stretch of the Rogue until uh, May 23rd, which is actually the same opener as the Williamson and the Klamath Basin. So there's a couple rivers that have that kind of later trout opener. Um, and the Rogue is one of them. So, but as we've been talking about, as you know, when it opens, it's going to be game on for, uh, for salmon flies. So, um, so it should just be like full throttle. Uh, there's a very good chance that they will really have started before that. Um, so we'll probably just, just open right into the hatch. Um, you know, sometimes it sort of starts a little, a little bit slowly and we get into it, but I think it'll be just game on from the word go in the upper stretch. So, so be ready for that. We're ready for you. We've got tons of flies, um, tons of great patterns. We're going to be doing a whole email uh, coming up about uh, salmon fly tips and tricks and uh, how to approach the hatch and the holy water and the upper rogue. So we've got a lot of good stuff heading your way there. Um, but uh, feel free to give us a call. It's something we look forward to every year. It's really a lot of fun, whether you're fishing the holy water or the you know upper rogue proper there. So um, happy to talk to you about that. And that'll kind of come and go pretty quickly, you know, from right at that opener till about the first week of June, um, maybe lingering into the second week of June on the holy water. But it goes by pretty quick. So be ready. Get your sick days together and uh, and join us up there for some really fun uh, some really fun trout fishing that we don't usually see in this close proximity to the upper rogue, but uh, we'll be up there doing some fishing for sure. We'll talk a little bit about still water. Um, again, it's one of the bright spots of the early season. I think we're still, we're kind of right in that place where, you know, if you're fishing Hyatt Lake or Howard Prairie, of which they're very drawn down this year, there's not a lot of water in them, but uh, they will have a small little window of pretty good fishing. So Hyatt Lake, Howard Prairie would be a pretty good bet, those lower elevation lakes. Um, even Immigrant Lake, we've had some, some kind of mixed up luck out there, but, um, but I think it's a good time to be fishing out there if you're fishing bass or trout or whatever, that'd be a pretty, pretty good bet at Immigrant Lake. And then Klamath is really uh, uh, off to a good start as well. I've had a couple of good reports from Klamath. Uh, dudes uh, pulling streamers, little little streamers and damsels and stuff like that out there, as well as coronamid fishing as well. So uh, so that's off to a good start, and that should be a pretty good bet for several weeks uh, now, and 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 probably even a little bit more. So Klamath Lake could be a pretty good bet. Still ice on Diamond Lake. I think that's going to be just a little bit yet before that starts to break up. It could happen pretty quickly, but. Um, but uh, Diamond Lake, once that ice is off a bit, um, that'll, be, uh, that'll be a really good bet there. So, um, so still water, lakes are going to be a good, uh, something to really consider. Um, you know, we booked that little private, uh, private ranch, Sugar Creek Ranch down in Northern California. We've had uh, several folks go down there and have good luck. So, um, so if you want to do a little pay to play, get into some, uh, some nice bigger fish, that's a really cool place to go. We enjoy it a lot. So. So give us a call if we can help you with that, but keep your eye on still water for the next couple weeks for sure. Uh, Northern California, we talk about it a fair amount. Um, we love fishing down there. Now is the time to be down there. If you're walking wade trout enthusiast, um, like a lot of us are, Northern California is a very good bet right now. Um, it's on the early end, but we've had real nice weather. Uh, 
early. Um, and so things are really happening down there, starting to happen. So we've had good feedback from the McLeod, good feedback from the upper Sacramento, a little bit mixed, but should be pretty solid down there. Um, Hat Creek had some really good fishing in the, in the early part. So all those fisheries um, should be about as good as they're gonna fish for the next, you know, uh, for the next, like I said, six, eight, 10 weeks. So, um, so really a good time to be down there fishing. Um, just love that fishing down there. Um, and happy to talk to you and get specific about any of it. Definitely we'll go through a little bit of runoff here. That'll affect the upper Sacramento a little bit, uh, probably not a ton, but I know there's a fair amount of snow on Shasta. So we'll, we'll see that kind of come up and down with the warmer weather. Once we get into those consistent 80, 90 degree days, we'll see, you know, we'll see that river come up a little bit. And then once it settles out, you know, it'll just be, you know, just in that kind of summer setup. Um, probably still a bit of transition stuff. I'd look for fish in the pools as well as some of the pocket water. You might not find fish in the pocket water as much as, uh, as, much as you will in the next like four weeks, but, uh, but I'd, I'd be looking for them all over. Um, uh, early season's always a really good bet uh, for hatches as well on the McLeod. Um, you can run into some pretty interesting complex hatches there with mayflies, some green drakes. Even on the upper sac, you can find green drakes. Um, so you might want to, you know, make sure you're bringing your dry fly boxes to those, uh, those rivers. Otherwise, they're very, very well known for being excellent nymph fisheries. So you always want to be loaded down with nymphs. Um, Hat Creek, this is also a good time for hatches. We see salmon flies on the early end. Um, we see caddis, we see uh, lots of different hatches in that wild trout section of Hat Creek. So, um, so definitely tow along your dry fly boxes there. Um, and then also nymphs can fish really well there too. So um, yeah, and Fall River, which we don't fish a lot, but that's an awesome place to fish out of a pram. Um, wonderful, wonderful big spring creek down there. So if you have questions about Northern California or if you're coming from Oregon or even from California, we're really happy to help with that. Give us a call. We can talk to you about what we know about them and, and what we're hearing. So um, yeah, give us a shout, we're happy to help. And I should also always include here when I'm talking about Northern California and the lower Sacramento, we have some great friends, peers down there that fish. AC Fly Fishing, uh, Confluence Outfitters, The Fly Shop in Redding, um, Kennedy Brothers, really wonderful groups of people that uh, do a great job uh, with, uh, with guests down there, run great guide services. So please consider giving them a shout down there. They'll, they'll treat you right and, uh, and put you on some fish. Uh, Lower Sacramento is kind of ground zero for a lot of those folks. And, a um, lot of good fishing to be done there. So, um, so give those guys a call and, and uh, tell them we sent you and uh, enjoy yourself. That's just about it, folks. Um, we are really excited for salmon flies as usual this time of year. So that's what we are focused on. Um, again, like I said, we're gonna have a little like pre salmon fly preview thing coming at you. So keep, stay tuned in for that. Um, and we will see salmon flies in Northern California um, and kind of follow them around here and there. But the, we really kick off with them on the Rogue and we'll be stoked uh, to keep you in tune as that gets closer and closer. You know, look at that, uh, you know, like middle May. So um, that's, that's when we get going there. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. We always appreciate it very much. Appreciate your feedback and uh, we'll see you here next time.